The KTM Duke 125 is the most affordable KTM motorcycle in India today. But you already know that. What you are wondering is, is it worth to spend 1.4 lakhs on-road Kolkata on a motorcycle with a 125cc engine? Especially since other 125cc motorcycles cost half of that. Sure, the engine is DOHC and not SOHC. There are four valves per cylinder and it's even liquid-cooled, a first in its segment. But the price still seems a bit high. The power figures are surprising though. It's making 14.3 horsepower and 12 Newton meters of torque. Specs similar to the premium 150cc commuter motorcycles such as the Jigsaw 150 and the Honda Hornet. The top spec single channel ABS versions of these motorcycles cost Rs 1.2 lakhs and 1.15 lakhs respectively. So Duke 125 is still 20 to 25,000 rupees more. And let's take a look into what we get for that extra money. The Duke 125 gets 43 mm upside down forks and a 10 step preload adjustable rear monoshock, which is a segment first. It also gets a lightweight steel trellis frame, which gets the Duke 125 great handling. The swing arm is aluminum and along with the trellis frame, the Duke gets 148 kgs of curb weight, including 10.2 liters of fuel in the tank. The 125cc engine is expected to deliver 40 km per liter mileage, giving this motorcycle an impressive 400 km of range. The rear tire is the widest 150 section, even more than the 140 on the Hornet or the FC16, and that is along with the biggest 300mm disc at the front makes it one of the safest bikes in its segment. The bike brakes are also 4 piston calipers at front compared to the twin calipers used on the other 150cc commuter bikes and the front wheel gets ABS. However, the 230mm rear disc doesn't have ABS similar to the top spec 150cc commuters and it may be the only downside on this motorcycle. The other difficulty may be the 818 millimeters of seat height which is quite high for shorter riders. But overall the amount of features and equipment the motorcycle offers makes it justifiable for the price. But enough with the specs, it's time to really test out the motorcycle and let's see what this motorcycle can do. So starting up on the KTM Duke 125, we're gonna do a street review because this is most likely going to be the favorite city commuter motorcycle but first we're going to take it over some bad patches and see what the bike is capable of doing on some bad roads because KTM's are usually known to have a harder suspension so we're just gonna test that part out a little bit of that often complained on my Duke 390 about uh, harder suspension travel and on this bike it just don't feel it that much it's a very lightweight motorcycle and that is why I wanted to do some off-road off or rather bad road condition testing to see and yes I mean, if you guys own a Duke 390 and you get to ride this do let me know if you guys feel any different on the uh, Duke 125 because this 125 seems to be doing a lot better on bad roads than my 390 does yeah it does feel better interesting Duke 125 India spec version now this is the version that used to be sold in Europe they have upgraded to the 390s body with the longer headlamp and the new bodywork India gets the older version and I know a few people were expecting the Euro spec model to be launched in India and that didn't happen full throttle and this is a bike that you can easily go full throttle in the city one thing that's remarkably different from any other smaller capacity motorcycle is how well the power is delivered initially 
I was a bit apprehensive because this is a smaller capacity engine and a lot of those engines have this feeling of not being able to handle well and with, with the power that comes in feels a bit hollow not on this bike not on this bike the power comes in just same way as you get it on a Duke 200 pretty easy bike to handle to be honest that, then again I have a lot of experience with the Dukes So the Duke 125, you know, over the past four years, this has been the most requested motorcycle. When is the Duke 125 coming to India? I have heard it so many hundreds and thousands of times that I've gotten sick of the question. And for finally, I am happy to answer you that we are here in India, 2018, late 2018, with the Duke 125. Enough with the fun parts. Now we're going to test the practicality of it because most of the people are going to ride it in the city and I know how good the Duke 200 is it's my favorite city riding motorcycle and I was always a little bit apprehensive about the bike not having ABS but now the Duke 200 does come with dual channel ABS and this motorcycle comes with a single channel ABS so those issues are sorted 2019 style and uh, what today's test achieves is to see if the motorcycle heats up or not because otherwise even the Duke 390 is an excellent city riding motorcycle I have enjoyed so much riding the Duke 390 uh, that's my own bike and the current 390 actually doesn't heat up all that much so this being a new motorcycle and having a much smaller capacity I think the heating issue will not be there but that's what we aim to test it on I know it's a winter morning sort of afternoon thing but this is Kolkata man it's gonna be summer most of the year apart from maybe one and a half months and it's pretty hot today I guess about running 30 35 uh, degrees Celsius not Fahrenheit so that's what we're running today and the bike is not heating up I'm wearing jeans today no specific riding boot riding jeans or even uh, no specific leg protection kit so if there is heating i will feel it and i will report it to you guys as honestly as possible if you compare it to a 150 cc motorcycle if you open up the throttle it doesn't really feel that exciting and you already know from the spec sheets that the power and torque are coming in quite at a higher rpm so this is a high revving motorcycle mileage figures a lot of people do ask that and on 125 obviously you're buying a 125 because you want the mileage and uh, the duke 200 in real life is delivering some around 33 kilometers per liter uh, and this should deliver 40 that is the numbers that we are looking for one thing i do want to mention here is that 148 kgs of curb weight but feels much lighter than that what are the advantage of having the trellis frame first of all this gives the motorcycle immense flickability great handling along with that it actually feels lighter in in uh, in city filtration or even <laughs> some of the moves that i just pulled just feels so easy and partly that's because of the frame Lots of cops in here, so you have to be pretty careful. And a new bike as well. Doesn't have the hand guards, which makes filtering easier. Because on the Duke, sometimes on the 390, I get stuck with the hand guards, or not on this motorcycle.
If you notice the revs, they're going the same way as the 10,500. It's a very rev happy engine. Like you saw I was in fourth gear and just 40 kilometers and I opened up the throttle and obviously there wasn't much response but uh, when you are in the proper gears uh, you just have to keep this bike boiling a little bit there is this rev band thing which bikers usually talk about the rev band is kind of or the power band rather the power band is kind of narrower so you have to keep switching between the gears if you need to enjoy the performance it's not that if you're in the wrong gear you cannot ride so if you're on the relaxed side of the rider then yeah you not get that acceleration in every gear and every rev band but you are a relaxed rider so you probably don't care and you can manage just fine and because of its effortlessness i can actually do this and get blocked by the cycle <laughs> 1.4 lakhs for me it's justified i mean even looking at the specs i was really impressed of you getting the upside down forks the wider tires the rear section of 150 which is same as the 390 by the way and then the better brakes four piston calipers on the front brake you don't get that with commuter motorcycles you don't get that even with some bigger displacement motorcycles you can look them up online i'm not going to talk about that here but um with the single channel abs and all of that kit that this motorcycle has to offer the pricing seemed justified but still if there was a speck of doubt in your mind that will go away as soon as you enjoy the performance of this engine and the throttle response because you know there's something very hard to explain but the power delivery as you open and close the throttle the response is so good and so feeling uh, the, the technical term is feeling the feeling is so good that it, it makes you play around with the bike and that's always been the case with the duke 200 as well and that has always been my favorite city bike because it delivers the mileage performance and everything that is perfect for an indian city where you don't really get to open up a lot of those guys uh, who had those premium motorcycles had the duke 390 as a second bike the city bike so that's that's the sort of ktm's uh, current crop of market uh, share and their their customer base with the, all a lot of uh, ktm owners are actually super bike owners and they might buy the 790 when it comes out but for now they have kept the 390 or even the 200 as their second motorcycle while they're enjoying the bigger bikes on the highways so that that's the thing i mean ktm in a smaller package offers you the same dynamics the same sort of handling not the exact same but the same sort of handling of a bigger naked bike and that is why when you buy these motorcycles and you transition onto your bigger bikes a few years later that is where you're gonna feel that you're right at home immensely flickable motorcycle we have lots of speed guns guys so i don't know this bike might be in for a violation today we definitely did some stuff let's hit it on And that was the braking test. Very good brakes, I must say. Very good brakes. I mean, I've used them on the 200, but on the 125, they feel even better. Well, I didn't hit the ton, but that's okay. That's why you're gonna watch the next video. <laughs> we'll do something more with this bike. And that's the 390 I was talking about for such a long time. And the 818 millimeter, I know shorter guy is gonna be a little bit disappointed, but let me tell you this, it's so light that even if you're on a slighter tiptoe, even if you're shorter, you can handle this bike. Just take a test drive, you'll understand the moment you tip it, it doesn't really put that much pressure. So thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video. We're gonna do a lot more with this. 
so stay subscribed stay tuned i hope you guys love it and don't go away because i'm gonna give you my inferences after riding and we'll conclude it after that after riding this bike we have to look at some of the options that you have you can always get the similar amount of power on the other commuter bikes like the jigsa and the hornet and you can save a little bit of money by going to the lower spec versions but you're gonna miss the abs which i think is a mandatory thing because it's going to save your life in case you land up in trouble it will not have all of these features that the motorcycle is offering if you want even more power and the full fared looks then the yamaha r five is obviously there with five more bhp it feels more peppy to be very honest and it's a lightweight motorcycle as well it's got the looks which indians absolutely love if you can budget for another twenty thousand more you can go for the r15 the r15 still doesn't have abs and when it gets abs it will become even fifteen thousand more expensive so the price difference may be around overall 35000 with the R15 still doesn't have upside down forks still doesn't have the adjustable suspension so the amount of equipment and kit is obviously more on the KTM and it will always have that advantage even a better bike to ride within the city the riding position is more comfortable so a lot of people wanted a premium bike with a smaller displacement but they only had the option of the R15 which was fared and a lot of people did not like that seating position i think they're getting a better option with the Duke with the premium naked bike which will have good mileage so who this motorcycle is for definitely it's for the college going student who wants safer brakes and everything else but doesn't have that much money for the regular day-to-day -day fuel costs because this will definitely turn your daily commutes much less expensive and it's also for a lot of people who own a bigger motorcycle like maybe a 600 or even a liter bike and they can come to this motorcycle to be a safe city bike where they don't need the power but they still have the safety of the wider tires and the ABS and the better brakes. It's gonna be catering to a lot of people. I think we're gonna get good sales out of this motorcycle. If you enjoyed this review, hit that like button, share this video and obviously subscribe to the channel if you're an existing subscriber. Please, please, please turn on the bell icon for notifications. We'll do more follow-up videos with on this motorcycle, also on other bikes. Thanks for watching and don't miss those videos. See you very, very soon. This is Rahul. Goodbye.